Hey guys, it's Brandon here again at Bit of Extreme. Um, <clears throat> I know, it, it's been a long time since I've done a video. Um, just been busy guys, I'll be perfectly honest with you. Um, and I just literally haven't had the time, um, which I feel horrible. So basically, uh, I'm going to try and get a few videos done this evening. Um, I've got a couple things, guys, not a whole heck of a lot. Um, i got a couple announcements. I'm going to do that in a separate video. Just going to do a quick juice video. Um, now, as a few of you already know, I can't vape tobaccos. Uh, it doesn't mean I don't enjoy them. Um, it's just for something in the flavor adding additive, sorry that makes me feel nauseous uh, if I vape too much of it, so kind of sucks because a lot of my favorite vapes uh, are tobacco based and uh, I just can't vape them, so I'm pretty much vaping fruity flavors, uh, candy flavors, and, uh, and stuff like that, but for the sake of the vaping community, um, I've had a few emails um, not too long ago asking uh, about some decent tobacco style vapes. So, um, one of the companies that I deal with on a regular basis, uh, Maple Leaf Vapes, um, I placed an order in and got three of their tobacco vapes. They've kind of been on the site for quite some time, um, but I just figured I'd give you my opinion on them, uh, what my what my thoughts are. Um, so basically, um, there's a Bell Monte. Uh, I'm not gonna play with the autofocus guys, um, but it's in a 12 milligram strength. Uh, there's also a Du Muir A, which is obviously a Du Maurier, also in a 12 milligram, and the other one is. Play Hers Right, uh, which is obviously a player's light uh, or smooth or whatever the hell they're calling their cigarettes nowadays, uh, but it's also in 12 milligram juice. Um, I actually managed to find um, my last three 306 atomizers. Um, they were stashed in a box uh, with my vaping stuff that I hadn't gone through yet in the garage, which is sad because I've almost been living here for a year now. It'll be a year in June, um, and there's still stuff I haven't unpacked yet. Um, so I have three atomizers left, uh, which are going to be using in this uh, in this review. They are all low res, um, and I'm just going to use them on a couple of different uh, devices, I guess. So, basically what I'll do is I'll kind of go um, least favorite to favorite. Um, they're actually all pretty decent juices. Um, some of them are a little bit more along what I used to like, I guess, in, uh, in a tobacco vape. So, we'll start off with the De Maurier. Um it's not really the fact that I don't like it, it's just I find the flavor kind of bland, I guess. But um, basically guys, I'm just vaping this on in regular pass-through Ego style battery, um, 306 low res dripping Addy. Um, it definitely has a tobacco-ish smell to it. Um, let's just give it a vape. Vapor production is decent. Throw it for 12 milligrams. A little light. the flavor. Um, it has a nice tobacco tone to it, um, but it's a little bit on the mild side for me. Um, 
I generally like kind of a little little bit of a stronger tobacco flavor to it. It does have a nice touch of sweetness to it. Um, a Demorier, I don't know, uh, simply due to the fact that I wasn't a Demorier smoker when I did smoke cigarettes. Um, it was basically, uh, I, I was more based on players than anything, so. But it's not bad. It's not a bad vape at all. Um, next one is going to be the Belmont. Um, again, 306. This one's a little beat up. Yeah, ego pass through. Um, just because I had it sitting out ready to go. Um, smell. A little bit of a stronger tobacco smell to it. It's almost got a little bit of a nuttiness to it, too. Put a couple drips in. We'll give it a bait. That's better. I like this one a little bit more. Um, just because it's got a little bit more of a stronger tobacco, a little bit more of a darker tone to it. It's actually more of a straight cigarette tobacco, which is nice. Um, it's got a little bit of a nut, kind of a nuttiness, a little bit of woodiness to it, so it's, it's actually a really decent vape. Vape production's not bad. Um, I think I flooded it a little bit, but it's definitely a decent vape. I uh, I enjoy that one for sure. Last one. I don't know why I put it on this, but I haven't used this in ages. Um, it's basically been sitting on my shelf collecting dust, um, mainly due to the fact that I've been using. Um, mostly, whoops, mechanical mods. Um, I've got a review coming up on uh, this one here shortly. Uh, but it's on the uh, Smoke Tech SID. Um, what am I vaping this out anyway? 8 watts. Um, and it's a... Whoa. Um, it's a 2 ohm resistor, or resisted coil, I guess, for being low res. This one I haven't tried yet, I don't know why, because I figured the players would have been the first one I tried, but we'll, uh, we'll give it a vape. I like that. Good vapor production. Throat hit 12 milligrams, perfect. That pretty much reminds me of a player cigarette. Not the burning cigarette style, but the actual smell of a tobacco. I like it. That's actually really decent. So yeah, guys, um, three tobacco vapes. Unfortunately, I won't be vaping them. Um, I might have a little snicker here and there, but that's uh, about the best I can do. I can't use them as an all-day vape. Um, the players, I would probably, if I could, use that as an all-day. Um, say with the, same with the Belmont. Uh, I do like uh, like that as well. Um, and then if I could. To change it up would be uh, would be the uh, De Maurier. It's just a little bit lighter of a tobacco flavor for me. But yeah, guys, again, um, sorry I haven't been banging out the reviews. Um, I'll do uh, another random update uh, video here shortly to uh, kind of get you an idea of what's going on. Uh, um, but yeah, that's uh, all I got for you today. So uh, as always, 
Let's just keep on raving. <laughs>